Hello students, today we are going to learn about uh, one very important short story which is in ISC board that is Salvatore. Salvatore is the first story in this collection and from the exam point of view also it is quite important. In the very beginning of this story, William Somerset Mom, who is the writer of this story. Friends, please understand the pronunciation of this word. It is William Somerset Mom. The spelling is a little tricky and you need to take care of that. In Somerset, uh, in this story, sorry, in this story, Salvatore, the writer at the very beginning says that it is quite difficult to narrate a character like this as it is quite simple. Very often we have seen that simplest characters are the most difficult to portray and to uh, you know explain in a short story because it is uh, the fear in the mind of the writer that it may not appeal to the readers. But when you start the story, certainly the character appears quite interesting and at the end of the story the writer himself says that maybe he was able to hold the attention of the readers and create a successful character. Now let's try to understand the character of Salvatore. Salvatore is a 15 years boy as it is explained in the story itself in the very beginning and he is quite young when the story starts. Salvatore is mostly spending his time on the seashore where he is living and he is mostly spending his time uh, by involving himself in swimming along with his uh, brothers. His father is a fisherman and he also helps his father at some or the other occasion. It is very often explained in the short story that he loved spending time with his uh, younger brothers and he was acting as a nursemaid to his brothers. He proved to be a good brother to his uh, younger brothers and it is explained that uh, later on when he grew up a little older he fell in love with uh, a girl who's, uh, who was living on Grand Marina and uh, she was quite pretty and attractive. It is explained over there that uh, her eyes were like forest pool and uh, I am sure you will remember this phrase because when you are explaining in the examination regarding Salvatore's character you need to mention such phrases. This will help you a lot in scoring good marks. Later on, after a while it is uh, shown that Salvatore, the character, he starts doing a work, doing job in, uh, in the navy of King Victor Emmanuel and he works as a sailor over there. After that he starts uh, visiting various countries and various uh, places as a sailor and uh, realizes that it is not his cup of tea. He was not able to do his job well and he was tired of working over there. It is explained over there that uh, when he started his job he was in a noisy place and uh, he was visiting some friendless cities and because of that he was not comfortable. He wanted to come back to his normal routine life and he was quite used to that and later on the place where he used to live it was an island Asia and it is explained that uh, you know I'll read out the line which ex uh, uh, explains this very particularly his eyes he realized in some dim fashion that they were as much part of him as his hands and feet so he was quite used to his natural surrounding and he did not want to go somewhere else he felt alien and he felt uh, as if he was a fish out of water. He did not belong to those places. Later on, when he was traveling from one place to the other, some of the places were Venice and Bari and finally he went to China. And later on, it was detected by the doctors that he was suffering from rheumatism. Rheumatism is a word, it is a disease and uh, which means that uh, it's a... Uh, you know muscle uh, disease where the muscles become weak so later on he uh, quits his job the doctors told him that uh, you know he can uh, no longer work in that because he was physically not fit for that job and when he was actually sent back home instead of becoming unhappy he was quite uh, delighted because he was coming back to his new routine and normal life and he also had this idea that now finally he would be able to meet the girl whom he loved. 
but when he returns the things change quite drastically he found that uh, his mother and his family members were there to greet him but the girl whom he loved the most she was not there he realized that uh, you know the girl maybe she was no longer in love with him so later on it is explained and it is shown that he goes to meet that girl to find out the details but then the girl uh, you know receives him with a very cold heart and she did not uh, accept the love that he had to offer the girl says that he was not a man fit uh, for her love and that is why he had to forget her later on he was quite unhappy it is shown that he cries a lot he uh, cries on the shoulder of his mother and he was not feeling all right obviously the life continues salvator being a very good person he continues living his life and uh, without uh, you know troubling others the mother of salvator after a while suggests him that there is a girl asanta she was a divorcee and uh, she had some uh, property so if he would marry her then uh, the future would be quite bright after a little thought uh, salvator decides to marry asanta and continue with his life asanta proves to be a very good wife as a couple salvator and asanta were quite happy and they also were blessed with children and at the later half, half in the later half of the story it is explained that salvator was living quite a comfortable life he was quite busy uh in his own life and he starts working as well he creates a very good life after marriage with asanta and asanta uh you know she also helps him a lot in his life and uh, it is also shown at a certain point of the story that uh, asanta was uh, quite angry on the girl that left uh, a boy like salvator who was a uh, such a good person after a while it is shown in the last part of the story that uh, salvator was busy enjoying his life with his uh, sons and he was quite comfortable he was lying on the beaches of his island and he was enjoying his life there were a lot of people who used to criticize and say that you know these people they just uh, lie on the seashore and enjoy their life but obviously salvator has had made a very good life for himself and uh, he was quite satisfied with his uh, with the event that happened in his life in this short story it is quite important to understand that there is nothing drastically different or uh, you know something that is surprising that happens with the character but still he enjoys his life he continues with his life and he was uh, loving the people around him he makes a very good life for himself and he enjoys his life i think that is the most important part of this story that uh, as a reader we need to understand and the writer himself tells in the last story that salvator was a hardcore good hearted person his uh, kind hearted uh, approach towards life his adjustments that he de- uh, that he did in his life that were quite uh, commendable and i think that uh, that is what creates a very good character out of salvator i hope this summary of the story salvator helps you and i am sure you will be able to understand this all all of you students try to understand that the story is quite important from the exam point of view and if you will study this character well if you will understand and analyze this character a little more then obviously it will help you a lot there are few details in this story that you must understand you when you are reading this story kindly underline the parts which you find important and please remember them from exam point of view you can make a note of that in your personal notebook as well which will definitely help you thank you very much students